Willing, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Just to start off with, uh, can you introduce yourself? Thanks for inviting me. Uh, my name is Hee Willing. Uh, I'm a furniture designer. I actually graduated many years ago, I think it's 2003, and uh, have ever since had my own studio based here in Copenhagen. And now have the chance to work for a tradition. Uh, start up three years ago, and it's been a yeah, good, very good and interesting journey so far. And with and tradition, you're launching a new chair in September here at Three Days of Design. Rely, can you tell me a little bit about the, the idea behind the design? When I got the brief uh, s some years ago, it was actually, it was from beginning meant to be like a sustainable chair. So we had a lot of focus on finding the right materials, focusing on doing also production-wise the right way so we can like, of course, use less energy as possible. So, and this has been a huge uh, task to solve all these things because it's, especially now, because the last couple of years, actually everything has been changed. Two or three years ago, there was, of course, there was focus on the environment, but not as much as it is now. So it's really been an amazing journey. And also think like the focus it is, it is, is gonna have also future-wise is gonna be, yeah, very amazing. I think you're gonna see a lot of new, amazing materials popping up. Um, and I think we're just starting now and with this, Actually, with the new light chair, we, we did a lot of research mm. because everything now, uh, if you take uh, the material wise, it, it's very much it's still in a in a, in a state where it's everything is like popping up. There's new more. There's new material is popping up every day. Uh, new ways to do, for example, if you take the plastic, new ways to uh, to clean the plastic afterwards. Now they they're working on to do it with chemistry, so they can more or less sort everything out. So what you have left is actually the pure plastic. You more or less go back one step back. So you can, they can remove color, they can remove everything. And that will be amazing because then we can recycle more or less everything. But in this um, experimenting phase, trying to look into new materials, what is the, I, I want to say the weirdest material, but the most exciting, almost challenging material you've come across in, in this phase? So far, we, we've, when researching, we found a lot of strange ones. Uh, actually, at a studio one year ago, we, we did a, f a project for a vessel, actually, a ship that was going to this explore vessel, and we found out a sustainable material that was made from fish skin. Wow. So they could, like, they, I think they treat it a little bit like the, what they do to leather, so they can uh, give it this treatment and it can last for, I think, decades, actually. It was a little bit strange because the color wise and also the, the, the the softness, it was a little bit rough, of course, and also you can feel this, uh, the small skeletons of the, of the fish and all that, but it was, it, was, it was pretty odd material. What does sustainable actually mean to you, of being sustainable? Actually, I don't think sustainable is, uh, especially for me as a designer, I think it, it, like, it's, it's the way of living, actually. We, we all need to, to do it better, smarter, and uh, we have a, an, a planet with enormous amount of resources, and we completely misuse and we completely uh, disadvantage all the, actually the good thing about it. And because we just, of course, it, if you look global wise, it is it's a lot of people actually have nothing compared to a very small group that has more or less everything. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like, it's, it's, it's a whole package actually. Um, so if we want to, to be sustainable, it's just also about what we eat, how we travel, uh, what clothes we wear, all that. So I think it's like, it, of course, design-wise, we have a we have a big um, impact because we, we produce things, uh, we have things produced. So, and of course, when you start to use materials, that have things to produce, and that's going to be shipped all over the world. That's very important, and if you can do it in a better way, because it really makes a big difference, and you can actually it has an impact um, on turning this into a better globe. Yeah. Like you mentioned earlier, you've had your own studio since two thousand and three, since you became a designer. Um, the biggest change you've seen from then to now, what has that been? I think when I look back, at our local fair is the Stockholm Fair. And I think three years ago, when, we, when you took a tour around the fair, it was like, there was maybe five, 10, 15 different products that were actually, that was, had focus on the environment and on sustainability. Mm -hmm. I think last year it was probably 80%. So I think it's really, Actually, I get really proud and happy when you walk around out there, not only there, also in Milan, for example. I think it's a whole, it's a whole industry, actually, that are starting to be aware of this is, this is now. We need to act now. But thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. I'm looking forward to seeing the design, the chair rely in, uh, in September when it's launched. Design that uh, came into production in a collaboration between you and, and Tradition. Thank you so much. Thank you. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs>